that, but it all depends on what hospital. Because I, I just found out that Jefferson Hospital up here, Jefferson Aria, they don't have a wing for the COVID-19 patients. You're, they're in the same wing you are. So, so your next, your, uh, your roomie there could have COVID-19 and they ain't going to tell you. And I don't think that's safe. They don't have a, um, they don't have a separate place for them. And another hospital they'll go to is Episcopal. I call that Butcher Hospital. And the reason why is because my, uh, my friend went there and she went there for simple surgery and she didn't, it was no simple surgery. She came out, she couldn't walk or anything. So just be careful of them two hospitals, please. Any other hospital, I think they're safe. But them two, I do not believe in. Now Jefferson downtown, that's a safe hospital. Temple, that's a safe hospital. But a lot of hospitals aren't. And the more I keep on hearing about certain hospitals, that's the hospitals I tell them not to take me to. Uh, well, yeah, did I get into the staples in my head? And I was found unresponsive one day, and I was rushed to the hospital, and they Narcan'd me. But there was a little bit of like them being harsh. They thought, uh, you know, a situation that happened in relation to my colostomy bag was me protesting to get into rehab. And I was like, I don't even know what you're, you know, no, it has nothing to do with that. But I don't worry about that. Like, you know, if there's something wrong with me, I'm just going to go and get treated. There's a lot of people out there with abscesses and they're, you know, they got rotten skin and bad infections and cellulitis and endocarditis and they're afraid of the medical staff calling them names, so that's why they won't go. Like, the hell with that. Go take care of yourself. I'm not, you know, don't lose a leg over it or don't die behind it or somebody, you know, it's sticks and stones. But some people you just can't talk to, like, I'm, I'm beyond that. I don't care what they're going to say. They're just ignorant, you know? Yes. No. Um, I went to Lower Bucks Hospital, and um, the lady that was doing, the, you know, the nurse that was, you know, that does it, not the check -in, not the people that register, the people, the person you see after that, the nurse that does your blood pressure and stuff, it was a white woman, and she, um, you know, I was, I was feeling sick. I think I have, like, borderline di diabetes, or, and I was feeling really bad, and, she had put the white customers over me and had me sitting there and just kept taking people over me and I ended up leaving. Not at all. I was treated terrible. Temple University of Pennsylvania is one of the most horrible hospitals and it has the most clout for being a hospital in Pennsylvania and that is because of the schooling that comes along with it and they do train you and teach you well but they have horrible bed manner. Yes, I do. Have you been treated any other way due to your addiction in the hospital? No. Jefferson's very nice. They're very nice there. Very nice. A few of the other hospitals, no. I was nodding. I wasn't even nodding. I was falling asleep because I've been awake for days on end and the nurse threatened to Narcan me. What hospital was it? Episcopal. How were, how do they treat the addicts at? How were you treated after like this, trash. after this training, right? Oh. Okay, Sierra, tell us how were, how were you treated at Episcopal Hospital? Mm, like garbage. Like like a cow at a freaking cattle ranch. Just move along, don't go shit. Just like that. Um, right now, no. Not this corona going on, but I was treated there. I was treated there once from the, for the K2 addiction, you know, for three days. I mean, it was fairly, they, they treated me fairly, you know. 
Yes, I think they try to do their job. I think they overwhelmed by all these prescriptions that's being ruled, all these painkillers, all these opiates. I think it's overwhelmed by it. Is a hospital a safe place? I really don't do hospitals, so I don't know they, they, I'm terrified of hospitals. I don't like being in hospitals like that. Like about like a month or two, like two months ago, I was in a hospital. I had got this crazy abscess in my hand, and I was there for like three days, three, four days, but I ended up like walking out. Okay, explain to the audience why you walked out. Uh, one, because of the COVID-19, I wasn't allowed to have no visitors, so like my mom couldn't come see me, and like, I get this, I get like, um, I get really bad anxiety and I like being in that type of environment by myself, it just really made me real emotional. I got started to get real scared. I didn't know what was going on and not having a phone at the time, I couldn't reach out to anybody. And then plus my addiction started to kick in and the hospital really wasn't trying to give me nothing because they knew that because of me being honest with them and letting them know that I was a drug addict, they weren't really trying to give me anything for my pain. So I just walked out. So do you feel like you were treated different because you are an addict? Because sometimes Definitely. some of these hospitals. Definitely. Well, what's Definitely. the name of the hospital and tell the audience why you felt you were treated different? I was at um, Frankfurt area, the Torzo Hospital. Um, and it was like, soon as I had told them that I was a heroin addict, everybody shifted. Like it was, I couldn't get this, I couldn't get that. If I'm ringing the bell, they're taking their time with me. And it just, I really felt it was due because me being honest with them that I was an addict, they treated me different. I really think it's really fucked up that just because people go in these hospitals and they're addicted to drugs, then they get treated differently. Absolutely. Well, I am an addict and a lot of times addicts go to hospitals because they're med seeking so like there have been times that I've been treated shitty when I went to the hospital like when I overdosed and then there's times where I've been treated really well. What hospital have you been, what, what hospital were you treated worse at? Uh, how do you say it? Episcopal? But Jefferson, I was treated good at. How Jefferson. were you treated at Episcopal? Like, I had a really bad infection last year, like a year ago, and uh, they treated me like like dirt because I was withdrawing, and they didn't want to give me any comfort meds. They just treated me like shit. Temple Hospital here in Philly treats you okay because they have addiction specialists. When you're in there, you're not sick. Um, you're not high, but you're not sick. You might be in pain, but you're not sick. Uh, Doylestown Hospital, on the other hand, treats you like you're nothing. Up in Buffs County. Like, that's why I was there a week, took an Uber and left, and then came down here to Temple after I had relapsed. Um, they don't give you anything really for pain. And I told you I had an abscess in my spine. I couldn't even walk. I, I had to use a bedpan to go to the bathroom. I couldn't even get up to use the commode. Like, it, it was just, it was just horrible. Every hospital is a safe place, but some are better than others. I was treated somewhat okay, more better at Temple than at Episcopal. Well, the doctors and nurses at Episcopal, they definitely, you can tell, don't care. You know, they don't come to your service as fast. They, you know, just don't want to be bothered. Just, they just want to get you out as fast as possible out of the hospital. It is. Uh, certain hospitals treat certain addicts differently. Which um, hospital? I would never, ever willingly go to Episcopal. They are um, terribly cruel, and uh, as far as the way they treat 
addicts. Um, they think everybody is there, I guess, to, you know, f for um, for drugs or to get high in some way. Mm -hmm. uh, so I don't know. They're just very cold, and uh, I've experienced um, some who are pretty nasty. So I would never, ever willingly go to Episcopal. Um, but then there's other ones. I've had great experiences uh, at Jefferson and the you know downtown and Frankfurt campus. Mm -hmm. um, they've uh, especially the ones in uh, the doctors at Frankfurt Frankfurt, um, which is now a Jefferson Hospital. They have been very compassionate and understanding and and pretty great. Um, so yeah, I, I, I would recommend them to uh, to any addict. They're they're not they're not cold or they understand. Not all hospitals, no. <laughs> I don't honestly. I don't like going into certain hospitals, and I'll be honest. The main one is Episcopal. Um, is because a lot of a lot of people in there that work there, which they shouldn't have a job if they can't respect other people, but they look at you different. If you come in there with an addiction, they treat you different. So it just makes me uncomfortable. So every time I go, I always sign myself out because I'm treated different. Because what? Because I have an addiction, and it's just not. I don't think it's right. Uh, to me, it, I think they treat the addicts differently.